Hey there. So I've been watching a lot of backpacking channels, pack hacking channels, packhackers.com is one of my favorites. I noticed a common theme. Most of the people doing these videos are younger than me. They're also a little healthier. So if you're a little older, maybe you got a little extra padding around you like I do, you might be on CPAP. Well, I need a CPAP machine and when I travel, I try to do a lot of that now, I carry a CPAP machine with me. Now there's several different kinds. I have five myself because I'm a, a little bit of a hoarder when it comes to different types of equipment. But I'm gonna show you two of them. These are my portable ones. I got a big old one. I see people getting on the airplane and slinging the bigger ones around their shoulder, taking up an entire uh, piece of luggage just for the CPAP. God bless them, more power to them. I don't like to carry that much stuff and I don't like that much extra weight. So I've slimmed down to a more portable CPAP. I've tried two over the last couple of years and I've settled on one for various reasons. And I'm gonna talk about the two that I have with me that I've been carrying with me on airplanes and the one that I use now. So I hope you like this video. So the first one is my oldest one. This is a Philips. This one is uh, about a, several years ago when I first was going over to Spain, I wanted to have CPAP on the airplane. It's portable, it comes with its own battery. It's so hefty by portable standards nowadays. I used this for a couple years until it was recalled uh, because it has you know, cancerous agents shooting out of the uh, air filter. They've not replaced it or refunded for it yet. So I've obviously moved away from this particular device. It's also kind of bulky. Model I'm using all the time now. This is the ResMed Mini Air. It's a pretty small and portable, as you can see. Fits in the palm of well, my hand, at least. The couple downsides of this is the tubing is proprietary. You have to have their special tubing. You can get an adapter that's in the frame there and I'll show you to you in a minute. But it does have some pretty cool nasal air cushions that make it pretty sleek and comfortable. Comes with its own power supply. I would have preferred a USB, but it is what it is. It works fine. Packs all up in a nice little bag. I always keep a USB cable with me to it for charging my phone at night. Now, it doesn't come with a battery embed like the uh, Philips does, but you can buy this battery add-on. MedStorm battery, it's specifically designed for the ResMed system for both the Air Mini and the larger S10 model. It has adapters for all of them. Basically, it plugs directly into the AC plug, has an adapter to adapt the AC plug for the ResMed Mini to plug into this particular device. And then it's got an adapter coming out of it that plugs directly into the ResMed Mini itself or the ResMed 10. So here's the adapter that plugs into the cord. So this just saves space. You don't have an extra cord for this. It reuses what's there. This is a 95 watt hour battery, which is just under the 100 watt hour battery max for TSA. Very convenient for carry on. This can run in line and run as EPS. I get about six hours of this. If you're trying to use a S10 with a humidifier, you're not going to get anywhere near that. But this little ResMedi with my pressure settings gets me about six hours, which is good enough for me. Most of the time you have AC anyways. Thank heavens, even on airplanes nowadays. That's the adapter for the, for the 10. Now here's that little extra port. This is an adapter for uh, normal tubing. So if you need a pinch to grab normal tubing, although it's certainly not as nice. I do always carry a spare filter and this little waterless humidifier. Basically traps some of your exhale, rehumidifies your air. It's not exactly a great humidifier, but it's nice in a pinch. It just inserts in line in the tubing. And like I said, I usually always carry a spare one with me. When it's all packed away, it's not particularly bulky. It fits fine into my pack. I have used this for, at this point, hundreds of hours. I take it to the ambulance space with me when I'm spending the night there. I take it on airplanes. I've had it at 9,000 feet. I've had it at sea level. It's kept up with everything I needed and has been real reliable for me. Battery, like I said, gets about six hours on AC. Of course, no problem. I've enjoyed this. Take a peek at it. I hope you find this information useful. If you like it, subscribe. Give me a like. I get no money from these guys. This is just for informational purposes. Have a good day.